Disney Plus has gone to Comic Sans, Bill Gates has released his summer reading list, and big news from NASA. All this and more on today's episode. Hello there and welcome back. JJ Shankles, the Goat Toasters here, back with another episode of your daily tech news. First story today is some camera news for your next cell phone. Samsung has released a new 50 megapixel sensor with dual pixel autofocus. Yes, you heard that Canon fanboys. Dual pixel autofocus will have much better autofocusing systems than previous cell phone sensors and has become the standard that Canon has used for quite a while. It's good to see that Samsung is stepping back off of their 100 megapixel sensors because that is ridiculous for a phone to have that many megapixels. The pixels are going to be so small, you're not going to get very much light hitting the sensor and your pictures are just going to be grainy and why do you need a 100 megapixel picture on your cell phone? And a benefit of this sensor being about 50 megapixels is it super sampled. It takes four close by pixels and turns them into one picture, pixel on the final output image to make it a, about 12 megapixel picture, which is perfect. A good 12 megapixel picture is way better than a bad 100 megapixel picture. And you're viewing it on a phone screen anyways, so 100 megapixels will just be wasted in that situation. On to our video game news. Remember Minecraft World Bunch of Blocks? Yeah, apparently it's super popular. It just crossed 200 million downloads. I know I was one of those at one time. And last month alone had 127 million unique players log on to the game. This game's been around for 12 years. I had no idea. I had, reading the article, I was like, wow, it's been around for 12 years. And it's still extremely popular, being the most streamed video, video game on the YouTube streaming service last month. So while Animal Crossing might be having its heyday now being the new game that everyone's playing, Minecraft's been here for 12 years and it's still extremely popular. And it'll probably be around for many years to come. More video game news, the world is virtual in the future and Oculus Quest is taking us there one step at a time. It's been a year since the Oculus Quest VR headset was released and they're offering a pretty big update this time around. One of the big updates is hand tracking. They'll be able to use cameras and sensors in the headset to track where your hands are. One of the big games that's coming out is called Tetris Effects. Unsure exactly what this game will entail, but it's Tetris-like gameplay, but you get to use your hands since they are now input devices. I definitely think this is the future of VR tracking. The Valve Index controllers are able to track each individual finger during gameplay, but the next big breakthrough will definitely be full hand tracking with no controllers at all. In hardware news, Samsung has announced that they're backing this project to create an artificial natural lighting window. The company has created a fake window that you put on your wall as a light source. It covers the full range of lights and it will go throughout the day creating a natural sunrise in the morning, go throughout the colors throughout the day of a natural sun moving across the sky, and then go through a natural sun setting color change in the evening. This would definitely be useful in the now modern urban world where so many people don't have very many windows in their apartments. I know I am currently using a window to light myself, but if I had this, I could just put it up on the wall and use that to light myself. The natural rhythms of the sun definitely help regulate the body. I'm all for a project like this. And if they can keep it cost effective, this would be a, a really cool project. Bill Gates has come out to release his summer reading list. Bill Gates is an avid reader. Whenever you see pictures of him, he's almost always carrying a bag of books around every trip he goes on. He's a prolific reader. He reads so much. And now during quarantine is a great time to start reading and reading his list. I usually just listen to audiobooks instead of reading a physical book, but it's super cool that such a smart, intelligent, billionaire is releasing what he's reading to share his knowledge with other people say all these books he's read and these are the ones he recommends so they must be pretty high on the list because Bill Gates has read so many books. Now onto some sports tech news. Saucony has released a new running shoe to compete with Nike's Vaporfly. So the backstory of this is Nike created the Vaporfly. It's a shoe with a carbon fiber plate in it to create really good bounce and doesn't waste energy in the footfall against the pavement. And it was such a fast shoe that world sports organizations had to investigate it to see if it would give athletes an unfair advantage. And while the debate was out, a lot of other companies were working on their shoe but wasn't going to announce a shoe yet. But now that the Nike Vaporfly has gotten its green light, Saucony has now announced that it is also working on a shoe with a similar carbon fiber technology. The Saucony shoe is called the Endorphin Pro. But what if you're not into running and you're more into scooters? Georgia company Go 
X has an answer for that, and they've unleashed 100 self-driving scooters this time in a large Georgia business park. So this is similar to a lot of the other scooter companies, but instead of having to, after you're done with it, set it somewhere, and then the next person has to come to that same scooter and pick it up, they can automatically drive themselves. So you can just summon the scooter and it will drive up to you, you get on it, and you can ride it off. I do see a lot of complications with this, having a lot of automated scooters driving down the street or driving down the sidewalk, getting in people's way. They're really gonna have to be good to not be bumping into people or running into people. They're gonna really have to perfect their automatic driving algorithms and technology to make sure it doesn't hit anyone. If it does, that could be a big blemish on the company. I'm all for automatic driving and I really hope they perfect it and get it working well. But currently it's only in one business park in Georgia. NASA has announced that this week they are gonna be releasing big news about their wide field infrared survey telescope. NASA will sometimes do this with big information they will release release a large press conference and give people pre-warning that it's coming instead of just dropping a bombshell on people. It's still uncertain if this is about previous information that they've learned or about an upcoming mission that they're going to investigate further, some technology, but it is information pertaining to dark energy or deep exoplanets. Very interesting stuff, so I will cover more on when they do actually have the announcement and what they say about it. News, news from Google as they're about to launch their new Pixel 4a. Reports are that they are abandoning their squeeze function. On normal Pixel phones, if you squeeze the edge, it has a sensor in there and, and it will summon the Google Assistant and you can ask, hey Google, what time is it? It's 8.17 a.m. It's 8.17 a.m. Really great feature. I really liked it instead of having to say the command word to get Google to start listening. You could just squeeze the phone and then ask it. Super easy, small thing. And it does have a dialable strength, so it takes, you can change how hard it is to squeeze. If you have a different case on there, it'll probably affect it. I would call it one of the more minor features of the Pixel phones. So losing it on the Pixel 4a to cut costs is definitely a way to go. And talking about Google cutting things to cut costs, reportedly on the Pixel 5 coming out at the end of this year, they're not going to have the solely radar chip. The Pixel 4 comes with a radar chip so you can do hand gestures over the phone. So you can do hand gestures over the phone to skip songs, play or pause music. But in another report, apparently they're not going to have it in the Pixel 5 as a way to cut costs again. Apparently this will come in at cheaper than previous Pixel phones. OnePlus has announced that they're going to disable the infrared camera that was allowing people to see through certain black objects or certain black clothing. They're going to keep working and tweaking on it to make sure this camera can't be used for bad purposes. Unsure as of now if they will be re-releasing it later, tweaked, or if they're just going to remove it entirely from the camera. But the biggest news story of the day, Disney Plus is releasing Comic Sans for subtitles on all of their products. I love this. I'm going to switch over to it because it's Comic Sans. It's such a silly way to watch Star Wars or any other Disney shows. But that about wraps it up for today. If there's anything I said that's infactual or any stories I missed, let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, like and subscribe. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Go Toaster out.